Hi guys, it is January 20, 2015. I hope you're all doing well. And I don't know how many of you know that our AG, Eric Holder, has made a very, very interesting move to end civil asset forfeiture. I also don't know how many of you saw on my old channel, Kafka Winston World, my videos on civil asset forfeiture. But if you don't know what it is, doesn't it sound legal? Doesn't it sound official? Legitimate civil asset forfeiture. It's actually a tool to allow the police to steal your property, your hard assets, cash, cars, homes, based on a suspicion that those assets were related to a crime. Just a suspicion. And here's an example of one of the ways in which they do it. So a cop pulls you over for a traffic violation and they end up searching your car. And they find in your glove box uh, 500, 1,000, $3,000. You're traveling and so you have cash. You tell the cop that, and the cop says, mm, no, I think you're going to buy drugs with that money. And they take it. That has been happening for decades in this country, but it has been on the increase significantly during our criminal government period, you know, Bush, and then Obama, and then it really has escalated in the last couple of years. You know, during that Obama, Obama regime, Obama, oh, just even saying that name makes me sick to my stomach. But, so, it has been on the increase. And, well, lo and behold, this was dated the 16th, and it's on Zero Hedge, and I will link below to the article, and I'm not going to read it, but he decided that he was going to safeguard our civil liberties. Now, why now? He, he could have done it years ago. This has been standard practice. It's so well known that the Canadian government actually officially warns Canadians not to bring cash into America if they're driving because it happens so frequently, based on a suspicion. Now, if, if you were arrested and became a criminal defendant, you would have more rights, due process rights, than if you're an innocent American, having cops just steal your property. Because Based on that suspicion, well, then you would have to hire an attorney and go through years of a legal process, and you'd have to prove. You'd have to prove that you, that your money or your home or whatever it is that was stolen from you, you would have to prove that it wasn't related to a crime. That's very hard to prove. So, yes, a whole lot of Americans have been getting ripped off by police through civil asset forfeiture. It's been an epidemic, problematic throughout the country. <laughs> but you know what? Our Eric Holder said state and local police in the United States will no longer be able to use federal laws to justify seizing property without evidence of a crime. So now they need evidence of a crime. That's a good thing, don't you think? Why did he wait until he's about to leave office? He cited safeguarding civil liberties. And if you believe this guy actually cares about our civil liberties, I got a bridge to sell you. Oh, what's excluded is any items that could endanger the public, like firearms. Well, that's not a surprise, is it? No. Firearms, ammunition, explosives, and property associated with 
child pornography. All right, so a whole lot of people will look at this and go, very good, yes, of course. But this has been a practice that has been going on for decades. So why now, Eric? Could it be, could it be that this lady, the Attorney General nominee, Loretta Lynch, has a confirmation hearing date? Yes, she has a confirmation date on the 28th and 29th. And it's already been uh, known that this lady right here is actually a civil asset forfeiture queen. In one year, one year, she allowed her office to steal nearly one billion, one billion dollars in uh, worth of property and cash and homes and cars nearly one billion nine hundred and four million dollars in one year from New Yorkers she's known as the, as the civil asset forfeiture queen and people were beginning to raise questions about her practice of civil asset forfeiture. So what do you think? Is this guy trying to make it a non-issue now? This little criminal, that little criminal, and this little criminal. We've got a criminal government. So I think he wants to try very, very hard to get that civil asset forfeiture thing off the table during that confirmation hearing, though it shouldn't be. But he's probably trying to make it a non-issue. What do you think? What I really know is that this little lady, this little guy, and this little guy are all criminals. We have a criminal government today, and it is so friggin' out of control it is pathetic that we the people are allowing it to happen. Civil asset forfeiture queen, criminal Loretta Lynch. Nearly one billion in one year alone from New Yorkers. Have a great night, guys. See you soon.